Hey everybody, welcome back to Police 10 8 Talk. This is Officer Bosco out here at beautiful Fort Wilson today. Officer Joel's doing camera duties today, so he's behind the film. Uh, so, anyways, today we're going to be doing a, a short video on the Sightmark Wolverine series. Uh, it is a really nice site that I just happened to kind of stumble onto a YouTube video from an, uh, another YouTuber who did a video on it. I was very interested in the, uh, in the uh, site. Uh, there's two different ones. There is the uh, FSR and the CSR. We will be doing a review on the CSR, which is the compact version of it. So just give a second, and we'll give you a shot of the uh, site, and we'll give you some specs on it. So stand by. Hey, everybody. This is Officer Bosco. I'm going to give you some specs real quick on the Sightmark Wolverine. Okay, now the reticle, it is a four-minute of angle dot on there. Okay, it does have a one-power uh, uh, magnification. The objective lens diameter is 20, uh, 23 millimeter. Eye relief is uh, unlimited, which is parallax free. Uh, minute of angle adjustment is one. Wind adjustment range is 120 minute of angle. Elevation is 120 minute of angle. Uh, maximum caliber of uh, basically rear coil, it can take up to 308. Now the cool thing about it, the one thing I was really interested in is the battery type, is it runs off a double A battery. Now they say battery life is 900 to a million hours. Uh, I don't know where that, that gives you a lot of range, so I'm not quite sure <laughs> how that goes, but anyways. Uh, the uh, di dimensions is 3.4 inches by 2.8. Okay, and the we weight is 10.3 ounces. It's definitely hefty. There's no doubt about that. Uh, it does come with a rubber lens cover, which you can see here. Uh, I wish it had the flip down ones, but that's just the way it works anymore. These are, always seems to be the ones everybody's using nowadays. Uh, it also comes actually with the riser, so it's perfect. Uh, for It's an absolute co-witness on an AR-15. Uh, this riser does come off. So you can low mount it if you have it on another type of firearm that's not an AR-15, like my uh, C93. You, I can remove that riser and bump it down where it would be in line with my C93 sight. Um, just some really interesting features about this thing. Now there's another model. This is the CSR. This is the compact version. Um, they make another one called the FSR, which is the full size version of this uh, sight. Uh, the main differences between the two, there's a couple. A lot of it's just size. Um, the FSR is basically about I believe about an inch to a half an inch longer this is a pretty big site so I can't imagine how big that, that uh, the FSR is but it's my understanding is about a half an inch to an inch longer um, the other main difference is, is it has a two minute of angle dot and it also has a half minute of angle adjustment whereas this one has a minute of angle adjustment and this is a four minute of angle so this one you got a bigger dot and it does one minute one minute of angle clicks adjustment uh, whereas the other one it's a half half a minute of angle click and it's a two minute of angle sight. Now one cool thing about the sight too, because this is these retail for about $135, give or take. Uh, the cool thing about it is it has 10 brightness settings. The first two brightness settings are actually night vision capable, which I thought was really cool for a $130 sight. You can't beat that. Um, and sight mark in the past, you know, their stuff's, yeah, it's always been decent stuff, but um, you know, I definitely think they've upped their game with these, uh, these series of sights. And they got some other really interesting sights coming out, a lot of holographic sights and uh, prism sites and stuff like that they got coming out. They're, they're, they're really putting out some interesting stuff. Um, I definitely think they've upped their game a lot. Uh, another thing about this too is it's uh, one of the cool parts it has these little rubber protectors that are around the turrets, the screw on turrets that'll cover up the windage and elevation uh, minute of angle click adjustments. So that's really a nice feature. It helps give it a little bit of protection and of course these have these little uh, attachments to it so of course you won't lose them because Lord knows I've lost these things on all my other sites. So. Um, so anyways, uh, just give us a minute and we're going to plank some rounds down range. So stand by. Hey everybody, it's police off, uh, it's basically off the boss guy. Welcome back to Police Danny <laughs> Talk. Uh, we're going to basically shoot some fires through the uh, Wolverine site, uh, made by Sightmark, uh, the CSR model. Uh, just going to show you some things real quick. Uh, now that I got it up in my hands, it's a little easier to show you. One cool thing too is it has this rib on the top which helps protect. Uh, top turret as well, which I think that's really a genius idea. This thing is a really nice sight because the sight is actually completely encased in, in a basic rubber molding and it's tough. I mean, it's, I mean, this thing, I think it takes some serious abuse. I saw another guy on a YouTube channel literally tie this to a truck and drag it down a dirt road for, I believe, a mile, picked it up. It never lost, tar it never lost uh, acquisition. It was right on target. And the beautiful thing about it too is uh, the, uh, the sight, the uh, post never broke or anything and it remained on zero which that says quite a bit um, what I'm gonna show you real quick on this side of the rifle is the battery compartment like I said it does take a double-a battery okay which I use the uh, it comes I believe with an energizer lithium battery uh, so it's one of the better. I definitely recommend you get some of the better double-a batteries just because it'll increase the battery life 
this is going to be your up and your down switch to adjust your brightness. Uh, it's real easy. You basically just turn it, you push it in and hold it down for a second and let it off and the side will come on. To turn the side off, you basically push the up button down for about five seconds and you'll see it shut off. So real simple, easy operation. Like I said, it has 10, 10 brightness adjustments. Like I said, the first two are night vision compatible and then three through 10 is basically for visible eye. Um, like I said, really quality, really quality made site. Uh, but that's basically where the controls are at. Like I said, that's where the battery compartment's at as well. Um, so just give me a second. I'm going to load some rounds out and put some, put some lead down range. So stand by. I just got to put my ears on. If I can find them. Where are my ears? Stand by. We'll be right back. Yep, got my ears. Stand by. Hi uh, everybody, sorry about the technical difficulties. I forgot I took my headphones off because we were setting stuff up, so my bad. Anyways, stand by, going up. And help if I turn on. There we go. Stand by, I'm gonna let Joel shoot some rounds through it real quick, so just give a sec. Hey guys, Joel here with you. Uh, gonna shoot some rounds through Bosco's Delton with the new uh, Sightmark Wolverine on it. So let's see what we got here. clear give us just a sec we're gonna give you some impressions of this sight mark hey everybody yeah, it's Officer Bosco we're gonna uh, basically give our final uh, impressions of the uh, sight mark Wolverine I'm totally impressed uh, I definitely think this is gonna be the new optic on my uh, trusty dusty Delton um, I love it it's easy to, like I said it's easy to use easy easy to adjust like I said, I love the fact that you use a double A battery, so that way you know you can go in any put on collar uh, 7-Eleven Jiffy store or whatever and get a battery for it in case it runs out, which I definitely think gives it a lot of flexibility. Um, basically, I mean, it's built like a brick tank. I mean, I mean, I, I'm very impressed with it. I haven't seen a site like this built in a long time, uh, but I can definitely say this is what's going to be riding on my rifle from now on. Uh, so, Officer Joel, what are your impressions of it? Uh. I, I'm, I'm impressed, you know, sight mark in the past has not been particularly known for quality or for high for quality yeah. or reliability. Yeah, uh, this one time will tell. I do. I do like the fact that it's got the rubberized armor. Yeah, over the whole side. I like the fact that the windage and elevation caps are tethered to the case, the fact that it uses a good old double A battery that you can get practically anywhere. Yeah. I'll, uh, I, so far, I, I'd have to say I, I'm impressed with it. I'll uh, uh, save final judgment after it's been on your rifle for a while. Yeah, because you know I'm gonna shoot the crud out of it. And, so we'll you know, and to quick. make sure it holds zero, <laughs> make sure the mount yeah. doesn't come loose. Yeah, which so far the mount has not gone loose. So. We probably put about 100 rounds through, give or take. But I, I, I I'd, the video I'd say for the price point, yeah, it'd be kind of hard to kind of hard to beat it. It's a it's yeah. a touch more than a TRS twenty five yeah twenty five Bushnell. Yeah, but well, it, the it, Bushnells also doesn't have two settings that are night vision capable. Either. Yeah, it's very so true. I, I, I was really amazed when I saw that the first two very settings true. were night vision capable or compatible. That was for a hundred thirty dollar site. That's insane. I mean, it really oh, yeah. is. Yeah, so far I, I I'm impressed with it. Yeah, I am too. I definitely think so. But it's going to be on my rifle for now, and uh, maybe later on, if you guys are really interested, I'll give you an update. Uh, maybe in the next uh, four to six months or whatever, because you know me, I'm gonna we shoot all the time, so we're definitely going to be out here ringing, putting it through its paces. So yeah. We'll find out pretty quick if it breaks. So, because if anything can break, trust me, a cop will break it. Trust me on that one, equipment wise. So, anyways, uh, we just want to say. Be safe, watch your six, give us a like or subscribe. It should be in the corner down there, I think. Anyways, uh, this is Officer Bosco. Just remember, like I said, to be safe and watch your six. Officer Joel. Guys, see you later. Thanks for viewing. Check out some of our, check out some of our other videos. Yep. And uh, thanks again.